method of undetermined coefficient coefficients okay now given the differential equation f of d into y equal to phi of x find the general solution y is equal to y is equal to complementary function plus particular integral so find the complementary function first finding the roots and types of the types of the complementary functions uh, equal roots not equal roots complex roots now go to the next step is particular integral now find the particular integral we assume for the particular integral involving constant coefficients depending on nature of phi of x okay now see the list below this is the nature of the phi of x we assume particular integral and is a restric restriction now first first one suppose the phi of x is e raised to mx e raised to m into x e sorry this is e raised to m into x is a mention we assume particular integral is a into e raised to mx but m is not a root of the auxiliary equation second one x raised to n polynomial equation uh, polynomial x raised to n that we assume a naught plus a one x plus a two x square plus so on plus a n x n, but zero is a naught roots of the auxiliary equation. Third one, sine n x or cos n x or both. We assume particular integral is a cos n x plus b sine n x plus or minus i n are not roots of the auxiliary equation. Now fourth one, nature of the phi of x is like this: e raised to m x into cos n x, or e raised to m x into sin n x, or both. We assume particular integral is e raised to m x into bracket a cos n x plus b sin n x. M plus or minus i n are not roots of the auxiliary equation. Fifth one. Fifth one. First one is. x cos nx or x sin nx we assume like this a plus bx into cos nx plus c plus dx into sin nx and second one case in the case of x square instead of x we assume particular integral is a plus bx plus x square into cos nx plus d plus e x plus f x square into sin n x and restriction is plus or minus i n are not roots of the auxiliary equation uh, roots of the auxiliary equation these are the roots of the auxiliary equations given phi of x nature of the phi of x and we assume it in particular integral okay now See one by one. First one is the roots of the auxiliary equation is two, three minus four, and the right hand side phi of x is five into e raised to x. We assume it a into e raised to x. We assume y p particular integral. Second one plus or minus two plus or minus three, and the nature of the phi of x is. 3 into e raised to 2x minus 4 into e raised to x. We assume it a into x e raised to 2x plus b into e raised to x. Now multiply by x because the 2 is appear in phi of x. The nature of uh, uh, root of the auxiliary equation is appear in a phi of x 2. So one time is appear, one x you multiply into e raised to two x. Next third one, one plus or minus two i, and uh, pi of x is twelve x square. Zero is not a root of the auxiliary equation, so write it. Zero is not there. 
uh, a plus up to x square is there up to x square a plus bx plus c x square up to x square degree 2 next one roots auxiliary equations are roots are 0 1 2 and this is a 2x square minus 4x plus 5 0 is a not a root of the auxiliary equation but in this case 0 is a auxiliary equation roots of the auxiliary equation now we assume it this one you assume it 0 is appear x into up to x square x into a plus bx plus c x square we assume particular integral next one 3 plus or minus i so 5 into sin 2x plus or minus i is not appear in a 5 of x so you write it a cos 2x plus b sin 2x next uh, roots of the auxiliary equation 0 1 plus or minus 3i plus or minus 3 are 3i appear in phi of x alpha plus or minus i beta and alpha e raised to alpha x into cos c1 beta sin beta cos beta like this okay so appear in a phi of x means multiply by x one time only one time appear one times suppose twice take x square this is one time multiply by x and cos 3x is a cos 3x plus b sin 3x next the roots of the auxiliary equation is 1 2 2 2 2 is appear 3 times thrice 1 is a appear in first term and 2 is appear in second one ok so both 1 and 2 appear in phi of x now we assume 1 is appear 1 times in appear phi of x a into multiply by only 1 x e raised to x and 2 is appear in phi of right hand side but is a thrice means it is b x cube so 3 times take x cube e raised to 2 x next 1 plus or minus i 4 alpha plus or minus i beta 3 is there is a different it is not appear anyone so write e raised to 2 x into a cos 3 x plus b sin 3 x next is plus or minus 2 plus or minus 2 plus or minus 2 i so this 2 i appear in phi of x we assume x in 2 x is there up to degree 1 a plus bx required a plus bx into cos 2x plus c plus dx into sin 2x ok next 2 3 plus or minus i so these three are not appear in a phi of x but your x square is there so you write up to x square a plus bx plus c x square and sin 2x cos 2x cos 2x plus sorry plus c plus dx plus e fx square into sin 2x this is a condition 